Hey everybody, I'm George Deacon Leo. With me here is Mr. Playoff Beard. And we got some exciting things happening today. We also had a very, very, very busy week. Oh my gosh. It's been pretty nuts over here. It really has. Uh, that is for sure. And you know what? First off, um, we have a lot of news to talk about. Mm -hmm. A lot of news to talk about. And we're going to burn through this news. And as soon as we're done with it, we're going to do the first of two big reveals. Yes. Okay? This one's, this is good. Yeah, so is, uh, let's really just say good. if you are interested in being introduced to Vainglory's next hero, you might want to uh, go on the Twitters, find your friends, tell them to start watching right now. Uh, it's about 10 minutes away, I would say. And then there's another reveal later on in the stream that, mm -hmm. uh, that Zekent will take you through. We have a lot of news to talk about. Uh, real quick, speaking to Shatter the Vein, mm -hmm. um, do not say this was a light news week because you say that every single week, no matter what happens. <laughs> I could drink blood from a goat's head and release five heroes on the stream, and you would still say it was a light news week. Yeah, this and is, there are only five yeah, heroes. It could have yeah, been like seven the, or something, this right? Is, this is not a light news week. So, you know, I think the oh, full man. podcast, Lane podcast, a little bit better about these things. Shatter the Vein never giving us a love on the news. This is a lot of news. So let's talk about the news real quick. Uh, well, first, what you can expect on the stream, we got two reveals. We got a special guest that is Kraken, um, who's mm -hmm. going to come and talk to us, the, the human being, not not Helga, the, the, the creature. Aww. I uh, know, right? That would be amazing. <laughs> That's really disappointing. Uh, maybe he'll, like, LARP the real Kraken, though. All right. Um, we have ice giveaways. We have games with this fine gentleman I, right maybe here. Maybe I'll play some, like... Viewer games in ranked matches. Oh, or I know that you're you're sporting. I'm repping you gangstar. the gangsters today. Turn around, show him the back. Show him the back. He's got the logo on it. That would be actually yeah. scary for the rest of the world if he was actually on that team. Hey, who says I'm not? I, I will represent <laughs> hunters today then with their unbelievable performance hey, in the hey, semifinals. Hey, spoilers. No, uh, that was a fantastic match. If you missed out on Wednesday or Thursday mornings or whatever yeah. whatever time it is for you, oh. that was. Probably by far the best set yeah. I've ever watched of Bangalore. Yeah, so go back and watch the VOD of that for sure. It's uh, You can either watch the past broadcast, OGN, uh, OGN Global on Twitch, mm -hmm. or you can go on YouTube to OGN, OGN Plus, Plus yeah. and find the playlist for the VIPL. Unbelievable game, sporting that. So real quick on the news, or not real quick, let's do the news. <laughs> First off, the thing that people will want to know Mm -hmm. is probably as of right now, as of this moment or very soon, uh, whenever the team on the other side of this wall pulls the trigger, we are turning on Double Glory for the whole weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, we are doing this out of appreciation because a lot of players are dealing with a lot of weird stuff right now and in the recent past. So we had all the Stormguard banner craziness. Uh, the poor folks in EU have been having lag oh, issues yeah. that we're aware of that it's like it's not like something just here that we can just fix. It's like working externally to try to resolve things that are not entirely in our control. So we're very, very sorry that EU is, is dealing with that and anyone else around the world who might be dealing with that yeah. in EA. A little bit of trouble around, uh, you know, like wanting to play Sky on Android devices and right. running into a couple things that we feel really bad about that, that we're looking to do something about. Um, uh, a little bit of karma confusion, which uh, and Kraken's going to come and talk about karma yes. later, but this has been enough of a whirlwind of stuff that we feel really bad about recently mm -hmm. um, that we want to do something to just say to the community that we appreciate you. Um, and the small, you know, one, one small way we can do that for you is uh, by turning on Double Glory. Yep. Um, so, uh, you know, thank you for fighting through this stuff. The team is literally working around the clock to try to resolve anything you might still be dealing with. We got out the Stormguard banner thing as fast <laughs> as we could. Um, so, yeah, sorry about dealing with that. Enjoy Double Glory all weekend long. Uh, we hope that helps a little bit. Next, VIPL. We talked a little bit about the semis. So... So good. Yeah, and Saturday, oh Saturday is both the third place match and the big finals. Mm -hmm. Put on your earmuffs if you don't want to hear spoilers, because <laughs> I'm about to spoil talk about hey. spoilers real quick. Hey. Uh, real quick, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. So um, first is going to be the third place game, and this is the match that both the teams wanted to, to see. They just mm -hmm. wanted to see it in the finals instead of the third place game. Right. So it is both the Korean powerhouses, Invincible Armada and PQQ, mm -hmm. in the third place game. I am just as excited to see this game because these teams really wanted to play each other. They mm -hmm. have a bit of a history. It is a rivalry. It is two of the strongest teams oh, in yeah. Vainglory. And that should be an amazing match for third place with some real money on the line. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you keep talking. <laughs> be, all right, fine. I just, just, well, just want to make sure you're you're the smart one, so I want to make sure you have a chance to talk. Um, and then, of course, the finals: Gangstars versus Hunters. A lot of people didn't expect Hunters to be there, but they have been training nonstop, uh, living, maybe even living as a team. I'm not yeah, sure. I mean, I mean they're I, certainly I, I living out of so. Korea, right? Yeah. So I would I would think so. But uh, just unbelievable play. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like even their level of play between the World Invitational and now. Oh, they're so much better now. Holy oh, cow. Can, it was, yeah. it's pretty amazing to watch. Yeah, you cannot sleep on them. Uh, I gotta it, say, I, not gonna lie, I did not expect them to be the winners yeah. of the semifinals. Because Invisible Armada is so strong. They were, Invisible Armada was on point Just for the rest of the Just impeccable, yes. right? And they were on point in those matches too. I don't know. They uh, were, they were doing extremely well, but holy cow, Hunters. Yeah. The Jungle Celeste was beautiful. That Celeste, and that was the next thing I was going to say. So one thing that's really interesting is both of these teams have standout players and heroes that may be taken away from them in the finals mm -hmm. uh, unless they're planning on letting that hero through because they have a game plan. Right. On, on Gangstar side, we saw what happened when they let Cole play Glaive. Mm -hmm. That was a big oh, mistake. <laughs> and, and just the plays were insane. A complete momentum shift uh, saw gangsters through Gangstars through to the finals. On the other side, we have uh, wands on that Celeste, mm -hmm. and that is equally as dangerous. So I'm very excited to see if he plays Celeste again, because yeah. if he does, if Gangstars lets that through, or if it gets to the third deciding match, yeah. oh my gosh. Yeah, in that third match, we might see Juan Celeste against Cold oh Amik's Glaive. Gosh. It'll be beautiful. Be, yeah, just make sure you're watching uh, this Saturday uh, night. I believe it's still 9 p.m. like the other ones, 9 yeah. p.m. Pacific. I, I believe so. Double check on the time. But uh, make sure you watch the VIPL third place match and finals. And there's also, of course, leading up to that all day Saturday. Mm -hmm. this is the Saturdays are just crazy for Vanglory. Oh, yeah. Competitive play now is VGL, EU, and NA. Mm -hmm. uh, Valdez has also been casting yeah, uh, be VGL good. along with uh, Take Tasty Bacon on, on the in the other region as well. So that's been cool to see. And so VGL now moving to the round of 32. Every time they creep into these brackets deeper, mm -hmm. the quality of the teams gets better and better. The, the matchups get better and better. By the time we get to the Sweet 16, it's going to be really, really intense oh, games. Yeah. But definitely watch VGL on uh, uh, twitch.tv slash Vanglory League. And let us know. Like, who are you cheering for? Tell yeah. us on Twitter. Tell us on the forums. Well, and go support your teams. Yeah, and now people have a vested interest. Hey, I'm all about Team Vision. Yeah, because... Team Vision's going to go all the way. I believe in you guys. I just put the link in the chat again. Um, the Fill out your bracket. Yep. Like, the NA VGL has a bracket challenge. One person is going to win at least 10,000 ice, oh, yeah. maybe 20,000 ice. If you have a perfect bracket and you win the tiebreaker, you will win 20,000 oh, yeah. ice. If no one has a perfect bracket, the person with the closest to perfect bracket after the tiebreakers will win 10,000 mm -hmm. ice. All you have to do, fill out your bracket, you know, it's in the article, just five, you know, go to the blank bracket, fill it out. You can do the, you can print it out and fill it out. You can write it on a napkin. You can use an annotation app or Photoshop, whatever you want to do. Fill out your bracket and tweet it with hashtag Vanglory and hashtag VGL bracket. That's what we're going to search for when we're looking for the entries. Right. And we're going to go through these after. you got to get this in before the matches, the, yes. the NA matches start at 4 p.m. Pacific on Saturday. you got to get it in before those matches start. So you have a little over 24 hours left to fill out your bracket and tweet it. And then you'll be eligible to win up to 20,000 ice. And what's really fun, you know, you can also get together with friends, have your little side thing going on to see who among your friends get, has the best bracket. Mm -hmm. And and you get a rooting interest now. It's like you had Team Vision making a deep run. Team Vision. Um, yes. So you can now root for someone. Otherwise, you might not care. Now you can really root for a team in these games because you can root for the team that you picked for each round oh, of the yeah. bracket, which is really fun. And there's one team. I'm not even going to say the name that I think is a bracket buster, um, that I think is going to blow up a lot of people's brackets. It's not even in my bracket because of the critical things I found out about them. I found out after I had submitted my bracket, um, uh, something that slipped through our scouting. So uh, I think there's a bracket buster out there that's going to give a lot of people trouble. So check out those teams. If you need to know the players for the tiebreakers, um, go on the Vanglory League website and you can click on the teams and see their player rosters. Uh, so definitely participate in the bracket challenge. If you joined us late, we are about to introduce you to Vanglory's next hero no, right not. after a special interview. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we are. Yeah. <laughs> and we have two reveals today. We have uh, Double Glory starting as of basically right now mm -hmm. uh, out of appreciation for some of the weirdness that's been going on lately, all those gremlins that we're trying to, to get out of the system. Right, right. 
Um, lastly, not lastly, close to lastly, uh, Evil Fan wants me to talk about TwitchCon, which I'm happy to do. Vangloria is going to be at TwitchCon in a big way. Mm -hmm. uh, we That'll have a special stream schedule, just like what tends to happen with PAX. It yep. messes up our typical stream schedule. Um, Thursday, 2 p.m. Pacific, uh, we will be streaming next week instead of Friday. Mm -hmm. Then Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific, live from TwitchCon. Saturday, 10 a.m. Pacific, live from TwitchCon. And then... That's about we it. Have, no, we have the main stage one. Oh, Which I don't isn't listed is. here. I'll <laughs> find out. But we also are going to have a special main stage match, which is going to be absolutely nuts on Saturday. I think it's Saturday <laughs> afternoon, where we're going to uh, find new ways to torture players uh, while it's they play Bangalore. Right? It's pretty much what we're best at. Uh, lastly, before the interview with Kraken, um, iOS 9 came out. Mm -hmm. And a lot of questions about iOS 9. Oh, yeah. Um, we did release an article that you can find on the website that talks about how to optimize performance for iOS 9. It does have a lot of cool things in it. Um, personally, myself, I tend to wait a little bit longer before updating anything, mm -hmm. just so I kind of get a lay of the land, because often there ends up being like, you know, like the 191 or whatever. Right. But, but I, I under, completely understand if people are excited and are updating already because there's so much cool stuff. You can, you know, you could have a Vanglory Fire guide up while you're playing a game. Yeah, it's you pretty could, cool. You could be watching the VIPL while you're playing a game. There's so much uh, great I innovations. I recommend that. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but what I will say, uh, read this article that we put on the website. A few important things that you can do if you've already upgraded to iOS 9 in case you're experiencing anything unexpected. Um, while you're playing, turn off Siri multitasking. Mm -hmm. That will help your performance. Um, make sure you're not running anything in the background. So the things I just described, if you're playing ranked, you probably don't want to do that. Right. You want to turn off everything that's that's could be, you know, you want to just quit all the apps. You probably want to even hard quit Vanglory mm -hmm. and, and open it up again. Um, you want to make sure you've turned off in settings the ability for apps to update in the background because if like it like starts to download the new version of Slacker while you're playing a game, <laughs> that might be a problem, right? So um, just keep that in mind uh, as well uh, and check out the article. There's some more tips in there and please uh, go to the forums and share your tips on how to optimize performance of Vanglory for iOS mm -hmm. 9. But that's an exciting development as well. I don't know how to actually communicate to Kraken that we're ready to talk about totally behind karma us. with him. Is he? Oh, he's here! And he is LARPing like he promised. <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right, take a seat. Do you want... Or, here, you can take my seat. I will get... I, I feel bad I'm now. Right, no, too late. All right, I feel temporary. bad now. All right. Hey, everybody. This is Kraken. This is our director of... UX, he's doing all the things, he's working on all of the awesome features that are coming in the next update that I don't think you're not gonna, you're not gonna talk nope. about, you're, he won't. <laughs> I already tried, I tried this morning, I was like, can we talk about the features in the one, and he said, no, no, we can't do it yet. But we do have crack in here because we've been getting a lot of questions recently about the Karma system and uh, we just wanted to spend a couple minutes both clarifying that, and uh, I believe that thanks to all of uh, all of you, we did find one really kind of obscure, buried bug that was having big implications on on Karma. So thank you very much for all of the feedback and the reports because we did find one thing that we did not expect that I think is going to help as soon as we're able to to you know patch that up. Um, I expect it will help as well. I mean, I think the first thing I'd say is. Uh, we did a fairly poor job of uh, communicating the change that we were making in Karma until after the fact, and now we're sort of explaining all the things we did. Um, the old system simply didn't work, um, and it, you know, there were things that we really wanted it to do. Um, you know, we want a Karma system to reward good citizens in Bangalore, and we want to keep it. Uh, we, the other part of it is a really important part of it is the stick side and making sure that we are keeping sort of toxic play out of uh, your everyday matches. Um, so a couple notes. The new system does take a little bit of time to really take shape. Um, it has to adapt to the data and the feedback that everybody is giving it. Um, and as Playoff mentioned, we did find a few issues that, it's really great, a lot of it was found due to feedback from, from players on, you know, posting on Reddit and just uh, chatting and things like that in game, letting us know what they were seeing, and it did expose a couple issues which we are resolving. Um, and we will be tuning this over time as we look at the data. Uh, it will get better and better now that we have more and more control over it. It's pretty sweet. 
Yeah, what? What is this? What is happening right now? A scarf with some sunglasses? Scarf likes karma. Yeah, I'll leave it right Scarf's there. Got great it does. Karma. And maybe I don't know if do, do you want to back up for a second and just kind of like sure. for anyone who doesn't fully understand what the karma system looks like now and what it's yes. looking for when determining what your karma is? Yeah, I can absolutely explain that. So in the past, it, it really was more of a participata- or participation grind, and it really didn't listen to the behaviors that we thought were positive and good in the community. And so we wanted to build a system that did do that. Uh, so we have this uh, voting and you know reporting system that happens at the end of matches where you have your like thumbs up, things are awesome, and thumbs down, things are not so great. Uh, there's also a lot of... Uh, a lot of scoring that happens behind the scene that's based on your reliability as a player. Um, if you don't AFK in matches, that means that you are a more reliable player to have on the team. And so we want to reward that. And the people who do AFK in matches, um, we want to communicate that that's not so fresh. Um, so in, in addition to the uh, AFKing and reporting that happens, uh, uh, it's also good to keep in mind which situations can affect your karma. Um, and those are the ones where you're playing with other people. So basically, general rule of thumb, if you're playing with other human beings, um, then it matters how you behave um, because it affects their life too. And it seems like the thumbs up is, is a part of that. And mm-hmm. you know, people talking about a lot like, so first off, and again, for anyone who doesn't realize, like the, the glory bonus isn't gone. The glory bonus is just associated with great karma. That is true. And it's a 20% glory bonus when you have great karma. Mm-hmm. But I think because it's attached to great karma, there's a lot of questions around like, how do I achieve or maintain great karma? And why am I losing it? And what's impacting that? That is, that is both easy and hard to answer. Yeah. Um, so the... For people who don't know, the way karma is structured right now is there are really just three stages. There's bad karma, good karma, and great karma. And most people should settle out in good karma, and good karma is just that. It's very good. It means that you are being an awesome Vainglory player, and you have access to all the game modes, and things are super sweet. Um, If you have bad karma, on the other hand, things are not so great, and we are going to keep you for a span of time from being able to interact with other humans until... Um, you're ready Um, and then things will cool out and you'll come back in and you've got good karma again and then you will hopefully be a good citizen um, or we'll have to pull you out of the pool again Uh, on the great karma side if you are doing great things and reliable things and people are recognizing you for it in addition to the system recognizing you for it then we'll give you a little bonus of glory Um, and that is a thing that is awesome to have but is also something that is not It is not expected that everybody is at great karma. It is expected that almost everybody is at good karma and that it is the exception when you get to pop into great karma. And it's really really recency based, right? It's like, you know, your current behavior, your recent behavior. So if you were a good citizen for two years, but this past month you've been a troll for a month. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to get burned. You'll get stick hit by that. Um, The... The older system, one of the things that didn't work about it is that it, it really was just a grind where you're banking up a lot of good goodwill um, yeah. and so you could kind of be a troll forever and the system really wouldn't recognize it and that's not good at all you know it needs to have a shorter memory than that so we did change it so that now it is more reflective of your m- more recent play all right and so we've been hearing comments about like like what I went and I, I did this kind of a game and then all of a sudden my karma went down and I don't under uh, don't understand why so um most likely if you've had a really baffling situation um, where you feel like it made no sense for you to lose karma, um, there's a chance that that is purely because of the bug that we did uncover. It's absolutely possible. Um, And so we're gonna try to get a fix out for that even before 1.9 if we can, but uh, in 1.9 there will be, you know, things to help with this as well. So, just if there's anything weird happening, just bear with it for a little bit longer. And that, again, is part of you know, why we're doing Double Glory, the, all, the, all these things, including um, any karma confusion or anything, anybody who's been hit by, by this particular karma bug. Um, but it's a new system. Bear with us. We'll get there. And one thing that's certainly guaranteed is that if you are a consist, consistently a good citizen, like the way they talked about it on a, a recent uh, uh, The Fold podcast mm-hmm. episode, um, you will get rewarded for that and it will you know it will be captured does that mean you will always be at great karma with that bonus not necessarily you might 
oscillate between good and great, yep. depending on kind of how exceptional your behavior is. Mm -hmm. But we'll iron out the little wrinkles and people will be properly recognized. And obviously it's our goal to make sure that there aren't any baffling um, declines, uh, which is probably bug related, but uh, new system will get there. It will, yeah, so just to, just to kind of summarize, New Karma system is working. Um, it does take time to really take shape because it, it requires data to do so. Um, there were some bugs, we're working those out. Super sorry about that, it happens when we roll out new features, sometimes we find little issues. Um, and we will make adjustments in tuning over time to make it more awesome. So what is, just to, to wrap it up here, what is the new feature that you haven't revealed in 1.9 that you're most excited about? You, man, I can't believe this. I'm going to have to hit your shins. This is, we talked about this. It didn't work. <laughs> no. Occasionally that so will close. work. Occasionally that will work on Captain Nito if you just yeah. like phrase it in a really oh, that strange thing. way. Mom. And then he'll just talk about it. Yeah, no, I can't, I can't do it. Right. Sorry, man. Well, maybe soon. You'll, it's going to be soon. However, cool. maybe you'll come back. However, there is a feature that we're going to reveal from 1.9 right now. Oh, there is? There is. By wow. feature, this do you one mean? right here. Oh, that's not a feature, but it <laughs> is a hero. It's definitely a feature. <laughs> it is a hero. I consider this a feature. It is kind of. Are fun. you ready for this? All right. I'm going to highlight the reveal button. Got to click this right now. Ah. Boop. So tell me. It is Vainglory's next hero. Everyone, say hello to Finn. This is Finn. That's P H I N N. Oh, <laughs> this is Finn, Vainglory's next hero. We are not yet going to say anything about Finn or about Finn's kit other than to, you know, you can take a look at him and you can kind of reach your own conclusions uh, about the role, uh, the position, mm -hmm. the play style. Um, a lot of it is there if you want to speculate for yourself. He's pretty awesome. But this is Vainglory's next hero uh, coming possibly in 1.9, uh, the team would probably kill me to 100% confirm that, but I can say it's, uh, it's at least a goal. No hero ever goes out until that hero is 100% ready, mm -hmm. but it is, it is our goal if we can reach it for this hero to be included in the next update. So That's true. 1.9 uh, hopefully will include Finn, Vainglory's next hero. One of the things that I love about this, not only... Does he have this you know, massive source of power that you can see in his right hand, but he has all of these fun affectations. Mm -hmm. there's, there's that, I don't know if people are noticing, there's a bird on his head. <laughs> and, that, and that bird is in the game, by the way. Uh, <laughs> come on, come on. Come uh, on, Playoff Beard. He, he's, 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 got a lot, he's got a lot going on there. He's got um, a lot going for him. It's pretty, it's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. So that is all that we're allowed to say at this particular moment. All right. But uh, this is Vainglory's next hero. We are hoping it's in the next update. No hero ever gets confirmed for going in until it's 100% ready, both bug-free and in terms of balance. And the right. balance is not just that the hero is balanced in isolation. It's also that the hero is properly balanced along with the rest of, of the roster. So it's not raffle stomping mm -hmm. uh, in an actual real team comp, uh, in actual real matches. Uh, so... We're getting there. I think we're getting quite close, and and, and I hope uh, he will be included in the next update. Although that's not confirmed yet. But this is Vainglory's next hero. Uh, it is Finn, and he does have a bird on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. That's all anyone ever wanted to know. Yeah, I'm not going to explicitly say what weapon is in his hand because I do want people to talk about that on their own. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So I got a few options today. You do. I could either play some private matches. Or I can try playing some rank queue with some viewers. Mm. Or maybe some casual queue with some viewers. <laughs> He's already backtracking. All right, so I'm gonna turn it over to Zkent. Um, I have uh, some prior commitments uh, mm -hmm. in the other room, some things that have to be done before 5 p.m. So I'm gonna head back over, I'll be watching. All right. um, so have fun, anyone who joined us late, there is still another reveal that will be toward the end of the stream. So stay tuned for the second reveal. Uh, which is a sneak peek uh, that I think people will enjoy. Oh, yeah. Uh, there will be ice giveaways after every match or really whenever Zekent feels like doing ice giveaways. Whenever I want. Double Glory has begun out of appreciation for people having to deal with issues and really, depending on where you are, you're dealing with different stuff. Uh, EU has some lag stuff going on. Uh, EA was having some, some issues around uh, Android and Sky. 
Um, there was some karma confusion. So wherever you are, whatever you're dealing with, we are sorry, and the team is just working around the clock to resolve that stuff. Tomorrow is competitive and glory all day long. Oh, yeah. First VGL, 10 a.m. Pacific is EU. 4 p.m. Pacific is NA. And then 9 p.m. Uh, Pacific is VIPL, the third place match, and the finals between Gangstars and Hunters with like at least 40 grand on the line for the winner, I think. Uh, like a I think lot, it's about that, yeah. A lot of money. A lot of money on the line. Two teams that you know made the commitment of going and living in Korea mm -hmm. with the hopes that they might make it to this moment. And, and they did. And they did. And they, they did. did. So uh, that will be really exciting to see both the Korean head-to-head -head rivalry of PQQ versus Invincible Armada in the third place game and the finals uh, cast uh, as phenomenally as always by Monte Cristo and Valdez. Right. Um, uh, Gang Stars versus Hunters, that's the North American champions against the Chinese representatives. Uh, should be really, really fun to see. So watch that uh, all Saturday long. Fill out your bracket for the NAVGL. Uh, uh, find the article online if you didn't see the link before. Uh, we'll be at TwitchCon. Uh, and find an article online for iOS 9 performance if you've already updated to that. Another reveal coming in a bit. Enjoy games with Zekent. Right. Farewell. I just realized my ranked rating on this account is skill tier 4. So this is going to be awesome. I'm not bad. I am not bad. So you're going to rip through ranked? This will be like the road to Vanglorious except in hyperdrive? <laughs> let's try it. All right, I'm going to start inviting. I'm just going to invite some people, OK? Um, let's see. People who are skilled tier four. I found one already. You're invited. And let's see who else. Um, let's invite. So here, I, I started to leave. But I got to say, if you're going to actually do this, you have to carry. Like, okay. I want to see you tear through these teams. I want to see how many games you can get through in, like, a certain amount of time. <laughs> how many I can get through by the end of the stream? Yeah, how many you can get through. So, All right, let's do it. No, none of this, like, you're going to be you're gonna be a roamer and you're going to just be happy and, and take care of your people. I want to mm -hmm. see, see you carry these teams out of not bad. All right, let's All right. do it. If this guy would join. All right, find a new person to play. Let's see. Who else? Skill tier four. I'm on the account ZKNT, all caps, by the way, if you want to add me. And um, I'm going to find one more person to join my team, and we'll kick things off. Assuming there is actually... Oh, there's one. Um... Come on. Come on. There we go. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Assuming this guy joins. Come on, you can do it. I'm waiting for you. You know what? I'm just going to queue up with you with one other person. We're doing this. All right. So it's going to be me and CarQCX up against the world. It'll be great. Um, we do have one more reveal at the end of the stream, so make sure you stay tuned. It's going to be really, really cool. Uh, I think you guys will be really excited about it. I found a game. Nice. That was a lot faster than I expected. Okay, so we got... Gameplay. Match found. 15 seconds on the clock. Well, 12 seconds, rather. And let's see what we do. Um, I'm going to play... Who should I play? I'm going to play... You know what? I'm going to play Ringo. Oh, no, I'm not going to play Ringo, apparently. Oh, I'm going to play... I'm not going to play anyone. I'm going to play Weapon Arden. I'm going to jungle Arden. 